So here it is, the Waves LV1 custom case Mark III. And Mark III only means that I had to rebuild the darn thing three times. So yeah, I will show you the build process. But first, let's have a look at what's new in this one compared to the old one. And uh, the build process for the old one is linked up here and in the description. But uh, let's take a look at this one. So we're back to having it four units high. Uh, the first one was four units high. The second one was five units in order to fit the, the Tactus front of house uh, server. Uh, now we're back to four units because I don't have any servers in this one. Uh, and there's a link up here again that show uh, why you don't really want the server at front of house. So in this case, there are no server. It's the uh, LV1, the FIT controller, and the DigiGrid D uh, interface for uh, headphones, mic inputs, and line outputs. So the front is really clean this time. It's just uh, the headphone output and the uh, uh, headphone holder. I have this uh, kind of uh, brush plate so it's possible to reach in in order to adjust settings on the on the degree d a new feature for this one is that it's possible to slide the fit controller out and then adjust the angle of the of the screen so on the back we uh, at the bottom have a uh, power supply with the outlets facing into the case then we have the host computer with outlets for a second network and for uh, USB, All right? And up here, first of all, you have three ports for uh, sound grid, uh, and all of these feed into the switch inside the case. Then you have uh, HDMI out for a second screen. We have uh, two line inputs feeding the DigiGrid D. Then uh, two mic inputs also feeding the DigiGrid D. Then we have four outputs from the DigiGrid D and uh, actually the last lid opens downwards instead of upwards uh, for actually a specific reason. It, the reason is that I'm a sound engineer, not a case builder. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, that's the finished case and now let's have a look at the build process. <laughs> 